Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to install the Maxi Cozy Priya 85 Max forward facing. Now remember, you want to keep your child rear facing as long as possible. The standard is two years and 20 pounds, but you actually want to go up to the limits of your car seat. So with this one, it's 40 pounds or 43 inches. So once you reach those, then you can turn forward facing. Now in a car accident, they are much safer if they're rear facing because their neck and spine are protected. So you really want to keep them rear facing as long as possible. But now that you're ready to go forward facing, let's get into installation. Now, since we're forward facing, we don't need the infant inserts. So we're gonna go ahead and take those out. These are for rear facing only. First thing you need to do is put your top tether into place. Now this is stored in its storage compartment on the back. So first you wanna put it in place, but you don't want to tighten it up. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to install with the latch system. Now that stands for lower anchors and tethers for children. So your connectors are stored on these clips back here. And you do want to make sure that it's fed through the correct belt path. Now for this one, you want to do through the forward facing belt path, which is located at the back of the seat. You also want to make sure that they're fed through the right direction. Now the latch system should go in like a stapler, big part on top, as well as the button out. You may need to loosen your latch system in order for it to reach your belt. And in order to do that, you'll push on the gray button and pull out the webbing. So make sure that you're fed through the right direction. Detach your connectors and then click them in. You should hear an audible click. Now you're ready to tighten everything up and that you'll do from the one connector on the other side. So you want to pull tight in the direction that the belt is going down in. If you pull away from it, it's not going to get a tight installation. And if you pull down or up too high, it's just not going to get very tight. So you want to pull in the same direction the webbing is going down. And then to get an even tighter installation, push down on the seat and that'll absorb, compress any of that extra cushion. And then you want to check installation to make sure it's tight. So you do that at the belt path, you're going to shake it side to side in front and back. You don't want it to move any more than an inch in any direction. Okay, now you want to feed your seat belt through the forward facing belt path, which is located at the back of the seat. You want to make sure you go through the correct belt path and you don't go through the rear facing. So the forward facing belt path is right here and you want to feed that seat belt through. Now if it's hard to access through the sides, you can access it through the front. Just raise your shoulder harness, and then you can access it right here, making it easy. You want to make sure there's no twists in your buckle. Pull it through and click it in. Now you want to collect all the slack and feed that through. Now because Maxi Cozy is not equipped with lock-offs, internal lock-offs in the seat, you'll have to use the retractor in the seat belt. And the way that works is pull out all the webbing until you hear a click, and then you're going to feed it back in. And that's like a ratcheting system that's going to lock that seat belt into place. Then you want to push down on your seat to collect any cushion and feed it back in. Then you want to check your installation. So you want to wiggle it side to side and back and forth at the belt path. You don't want it to move any more than an inch in any direction. Now that you have a tight installation, you're ready to attach the rear tether. Now your re rear tether is probably located on the roof of your car, on the floor of your car behind the seat, or even on the back of the seat. It will be indicated. Um, you can check your manual to find out where your rear tethers are. You may have to loosen the straps, and to do though, you just pull on the buckle, and then you click that into place. Now that your seat is installed correctly, we're ready to put our child in. But before we do, we're going to loosen up our straps. And so to loosen up your straps, you're going to put your finger in here and push down on the metal and pull out your harness. And then you want to raise your headrest. You're going to squeeze this handle up here and raise your headrest. You just want to make sure it's tall enough to clear your child, but then you can lower it to the appropriate level. So some cool things about these buckles, this is a flip away buckle 
it's designed to stay away from your child so that they can just hop in without it getting hidden under their bum. Now I love the chess clip but there is a little bit of education. They designed this so that children can't do it on their own but it's very easy for parents. So what you're going to do is squeeze on that gray button and then slide it with your hand. So it's easy to do one-handed but very difficult, difficult for children. This is our little helper today. Good job. Okay, I'm going to loosen it just a little bit more. Okay, let's put your arms in. And as you can see, it's really easy to do. Okay, you're going to slide up these cushions right on either side of her neck. And then buckle your crotch buckle. Now before you adjust your chest clip, you want to make sure you get the right height. To lower the height of the headrest, you're going to squeeze this handle up here and you're going to lower that down. Now you want that to go in right at or just above their shoulder level. So you want it to be right here, maybe a little bit above for forward facing. Then you want to tighten everything up. And you don't want to be able to pinch the web webbing vertically, but it should be snug on two fingers. And then you want to move your chest clip. Okay, hold on. And you want that in the tickle zone, which is armpit to armpit. I am a CPS tech, so I can answer your questions if you have them. Just comment below, leave us an email at hello at babycubby.com, or if you're local, come into the store and I can check out your installation in person. If you enjoyed this video, check out our other Maxi Cozy videos, give us a like, and even subscribe to our YouTube channel.